Hi Pisces, welcome to your general love reading for the second half of November 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's reading, that's okay. You can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. All right, Pisces, let's see what is going on for you. Overall energy. Last part of November, we have signs. Okay, so there might be a lot of synchronicities that you are getting or just getting a lot of signs from the universe um, pointing you towards this, um, a specific direction here. <clears throat> and this could definitely also be true for your person, but we'll see once we get into the reading. So let's see, Pisces. Signs are pointing you towards the sun, towards happiness. So Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Last two weeks of November. All right, situation. We have the four of swords crossed by the wheel of fortune. There's, okay, there, I feel like there is healing that is happening here between you and another person. And things, um, things are changing. Normally I would say the opposite here. I would say that this is the challenge, is for things to shift. And I do feel like, yeah, you know, that has been a challenge. That definitely has been a challenge to move things in a new direction. But because we have the Four of Swords here, I feel like there's a healing that's happening, which is actually allowing things to begin to take that new direction here. I'm getting there's a lot of divine intervention here as well. Uh, let's see the recent past. We have temperance. All right, so Sagittarius is showing up. Near future, we have the hanged man. For your energy, the six of wands. For them, the queen of wands. More about you is the four of cups. For them, the chariot, okay, so Cancer is also showing up here. And the potential outcome, the Ten of Cups, which is one of the best cards to get in a love reading, especially as the potential outcome here. All right, Pisces, let's see. Um, for the recent past, again, it feels like, like I said, there's been some healing that has been happening. And I do feel like, you know, you feel like you have come more to this place of balance within your own self. Not allowing things to trigger you as much as before. That's what I'm getting there. All right, so for your energy, we have the Six of Wands and the Four of Cups. Um, keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, all right? So yeah, you, I feel like you're actually moving forward. You're you're moving towards a success and I feel like you can feel that you you are moving in the right direction here <clears throat> even though you are still feeling a bit discontent with where your life is right now um, yeah we'll see more when we when we clarify for them the Queen of Wands and the Chariot This person is also finding their own sense of, of assertiveness, self-worth. Really going after what it is that they want as well. Okay, so it's very interesting. I feel like you're both kind of doing the same thing, but in different ways. There's a lot of action um, for the person that you're dealing with here. And I feel like they're taking things in a new direction as well. So we'll see. Coming up though, it, it feels like there is a little bit of a pause or there is a little bit of a waiting. There is a little bit of um, inactivity, which I do feel is temporary. Again, it's coming in though as healing, even with this hanged man. It's like taking the time to process the shifts that are happening following whatever, whatever healing this is about. All right, which then, you know, leads up to that Ten of Cups. So let's clarify. Ten 
Okay, let's see the four of swords with the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, we have the star, right, Aquarius, and the Ace of Pentacles. Definitely something really new here. There's definitely a shift that is happening that is for the better. It's not being very specific. I do feel like it is divinely guided, as I said before, with the signs, also with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, a lot of signs are coming in. There's a lot of divine assistance here pushing, pushing you forward, basically. And pushing you towards what it is that would be your wish fulfillment, right? And I am going to say just right off the start here that this is, if you're watching this um, reading and, and you're in separation, never wanting to go back to this person, this is probably not going to be your reading because we do have the Ten of Cups as the potential outcome. And I do feel like it is with this same person that we're talking about here, okay? So... Yeah, this is, and I mean, maybe for some of you, there is no other person in particular, and this could be somebody that is in your future. That could be the case as well. Um, but it, there's definitely a wish for that Ten of Cups. And the star also being a healing card. I mean, it's amazing how many healing energies are in this reading um, already, and we've only just begun. So yeah, definitely a lot of healing that is moving towards a very new way of doing things, a new way of being, a huge shift towards a new practical beginning, all right, in the 3D. So that's actually very positive. And I feel like it's been a while since we've had a positive reading for Pisces. All right, let's see that Six of Wands in your energy. All right, the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Cups. Okay, so there's been a lot of possibly back and forth, a lot of juggling, not sure, uncertainty, not knowing how to manage things, things just feeling too difficult to cope with when it comes to, to a specific love connection or to just love in general. And I feel like this is the, what this shift is moving you towards is really gaining that control over that and gaining victory over that, almost like an accomplishment. Like, okay, yeah, now I got it. Now I know how to balance out everything in my life in order to be able to have this Two of Cups, in order to be able to have love in my life. So whatever, you know, those issues were for you. So let's see the Four of Cups. All right, so we have the Four of Cups showing up again, the Eight of Pentacles and the Hermit, all right? So Virgo energy showing up. Um, it just feels like you're doing a lot of inner work, a lot of inner work because you've been so unhappy, because you've been passive, because you haven't really been doing anything to change your situation. And it's like now you're like, no, you know what? I don't want things to stay the same. I cannot stand being in this Four of Cups, this discontentment, this passive, depressed kind of an energy forever. And so now you're focusing on um, doing that inner work and really being focused. It's like you're, with the, look at this Eight of Pentacles. He's wearing like a little eye, um, what are those things called? A magnifying glass on his eye right? Like really inspecting his soul, right? Because we have the, the hermit here going within. So I feel like you may have spent some, quite a bit of time alone, um, possibly feeling depressed, um, just not happy, bored even, um, passive, not doing anything about it. And it's like now you're beginning to really heal that. You're coming out of that and focusing on what, figuring out what it is that was going on within you that was keeping you stuck in that type of a situation. Again, roles can be reversed. All right, let's see. And I especially say this for Pisces because I do feel like I have a lot of Pisces cross watchers. I feel like a lot of my, um, my personal clients for personal readings, a lot of them, the, the person that we read for is actually a Pisces. <laughs> so find that kind of interesting. Um, all right, let's see Queen of Wands for them. All 
All right, we have the Page of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Ooh. Okay. It's positive, though, because we are clarifying the Queen of Wands. So I feel like, yeah, you know, this person has actually been keeping an eye on you. Like, they're still interested. They're finding their own confidence um, through this, through whatever it is that has been happening. I feel like they're finding their confidence and also getting themselves unstuck. I feel like this person was actually... Um, feeling trapped in this connection, feeling trapped by an ending or by the pain that this connection caused them. But I actually see them... Yeah, still still being interested in this, in this connection with you. There's still a lot of passion here from their end. Even though I, I feel like this person has actually been hurt. And this person may have been um, stuck a little bit in their headspace as well for a certain time period. But let's see, let me get for the chariot, see if we can understand this a little better. All right, Six of Cups, Strength. Okay, so Leo energy showing up and the King of Pentacles. All right, I see. So yeah, this this person actually is not sure if this connection is done. Um, I feel like they're feeling like like it might be done. They're still interested, and you know they're they're healing as well. All right, they're they're beginning to feel more confident within their own selves, despite the fact that this might be over, which I feel in the past you know, that was a little bit difficult for them. Um, again, again, it's coming in as this person still being interested in this connection, right? They're, they're still feeling a strong connection, a very strong connection with you, still wanting commitment. This person actually does want a reconciliation with you. Um, I feel like they go they go between feeling very impatient to then you know just being very um, very stable. Let me get one more here. The Wheel of Fortune. All right, so the Wheel of Fortune showing up again. Yeah, it's like this person has actually endured a lot. This person has endured a lot. Um, again, it's like they were not feeling very good about themselves before. All right, it's like there was possibly um, a lack of, a lack of strength on their end, um, a lot of being in their, in their headspace about this, especially if this was, you know, not coming together, and so there was a lot of overthinking about the ending and the pain that that caused, and I feel like what's happening now is they're, they're taking a new direction, even if they do still want this connection with you, they're on this new path of being stronger, of being their own, um, you know, like being in that King of Pentacles energy, still wanting the connection with you, but also doing that for themselves, like being able to provide that, like not needing someone else to feel complete, basically, okay, if they were really holding on to this, or if they were afraid of this, of this connection, or afraid of being, um, of moving this connection forward because maybe they were afraid of it ending, for example, or they were afraid of the pain, and so they, they may have been holding back. Um, just to give an example, right? I feel like this person is is moving towards being a lot stronger when it comes to commitment and what it is that they can provide. 
all right, there's a big shift that's happening for them as well. That's why I'm saying that this is all where the wheel is turning things. This healing is actually for the both of you. All right, so let's see the hanged man. All right, the, the Cage of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and Judgment. Yeah, th this is a lot of processing. This is a lot of new stuff that is being, you know, it's like, it's like a resurrection, like being born again, like everything just feels different. And because of that, because of that, um, there is this, you know, like a, um, what would you call it? Like an adjustment period, an adjustment period um, that is needed here. It's like a, you know, holding back, holding back, not, not being able to give much. There's a little bit of energy being put forth here with this Page of Pentacles, but it, this Page of Pentacles is also talking about that new path, right? Just like the Ace of Pentacles. And actually with this Five of Swords, I'm not really getting a negative energy attached to that at all. I'm actually getting this, you know, just being firm. Um, each, each of you or, you know, one of you whoever was lacking this quality, standing up for their own self. Standing up for their own self and wanting to do what is best for them. Putting your own self first, in other words. I feel like that is something that is going to be new here. That is part of this shift. And it just takes a little bit of time to fully um, integrate that. All right, so let's see that Ten of Cups for the potential outcome. Who the Four of Swords showing up again and the Three of Cups. Okay, wow. So yes, this is like a peaceful, loving connection, a reuniting, a reconciliation here, um, happiness, um, celebration, enjoyment. It's like a party. <laughs> So yeah, with healing, that's that's where this is moving you to. All right, so follow those signs. I feel like you have been getting the signs. They've been getting signs too. There's been a lot of synchronicities happening or they will be happening. All right, as long as you continue to focus on yourself, um, you know, like I said, with that hermit and, you know, keep healing, keep doing what you're doing, making that shift. Oh, Pisces, very positive reading this time around. All right, so if this resonated, the final message for you is the new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. Yeah, and you know, there is no such thing as luck, I believe, um, for these things. But yeah, that's what, it's, that's what it feels like. It feels like luck is on your side, which to me means the universe is on your side, basically. All right, the synchronicities, the signs, all guiding you, helping you, and everything just seems to be um, working out, so yeah. That's what I got for you, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.